Hey guys, welcome back to I Dream of Wigs and thank you for joining me today. I'm Missy with TL Wigs and today I'm going to be showing you Henry Margu's Willow and this is in the color 88GR. <music> Just this beautiful uh, Henry Margu Willow from T.O. Wigs. We would like to invite you to shop T.O. Wigs where everything is always 30 to 35 percent off. Now we offer price match. Um, if you go to another website and you see um, a wig that is cheaper within five dollars and it does exclude Raquel Welch, Gabor, and Hairdo. If you find that product cheaper somewhere else, you just email uh, customer support at info at tlwigs.com and she's gonna price match that for you. Um, we also have an awesome rewards program and she offers shop pay at checkout so that you can buy it now and pay over installments interest free. So like I said, I'm gonna drop all of the links in the description below and on top of that we would like to also invite you to our private Facebook group uh, which is TL Wigs Support, Inspiration and Education. That will be in the description as well. Now this is where all of your steals and deals, amazing steals and deals that are not listed on the website. Um, giveaways as far as uh, mannequins, wigs, gift cards, everything. So you really need to be a part of this group because that is where all of the excitement is. I mean, you're gonna make a ton of new friends on top of the giveaways and extra discounts. So we look forward to seeing you over there. So let's just get started on this because I am in love. I just keep getting longer and longer styles. Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. Ah. So I want to talk about this color 88GR first. Um, now this is a light wheat blonde with strawberry blonde highlights and a medium brown root. And I'm going to show you the hairline. The hairline on Henry Margu is just amazing. I mean, you are talking just melts into the skin. So I don't know with my lighting here that we'll be able to um, pull some of those strawberry-ish highlights or not. Maybe if I, there I see. It's, it's kind of um, hard to pick up, but outside, and unfortunately it is storming up cats and dogs here. I'm not gonna be able to get outside unless I go under the carport or something to see if you can see it in the natural light. So that's the color. And this is one of my favorite colors. So as far as the measurements on this beauty, let me go ahead and do a spin so you can see it all the way around. And because it's so long, I'm going to have to back up a little bit out of frame so you can see this. This is a whopping 23 inches long. And you can see it's just this kind of tasseled beach wave kind of look. Um, just gorgeous. Um, what I consider this mermaid hair because this just reminds me of being at the beach and you know your hair getting that sea salt on it, that natural sea salt, and giving you these beautiful little waves at the ends. So Henry Margu's caps um, fit average to large. So if you are more on the petite or small size, you may find that Henry Margu fits you just a little bit large. Um, but if you wear a wig grip and tighten those um, 
you know, closures and maybe crisscross those, it may, you know, give you a more secure fit. Now, I don't have to do anything out of the box as far as adjustments. I just put it on and it fits perfectly. So let's talk about the measurements here. The front piece here is eight inches long and you can see here, if I pull it down, oh, that is, it's just an amazing style. I love this. This front piece is eight inches long. Sorry about that. That was my laptop. And I love how that kind of just frames the face. I wasn't expecting that. So that was a, a good surprise whenever I pulled that down there. Um, the sides of this, because it's layered, you've got anywhere from 12 and a half here would be your 12 and a half layer all the way down to 16. The nape on this is 16 inches long. And like I said, we've got an overall of 23 inches long. Now this is a regular synthetic, so you cannot apply heat to this. Um, this is a when I take it off and show you the inside of the cap, you're going to see that the lace front runs extended. So I wouldn't consider it temple to temple. It runs clear to the start of the ear tabs. Here you can see my coverage. I've got that bent in, as always, um, right there. And it just blends in really, really nicely. So we have a fixed left side mono part. I don't know if you can see. Uh, just amazing, though. I love Henry Margu um, for their just amazing hairlines. So this, even though, <coughs> excuse me, even though this is very, very long, it only weighs a little over five ounces. And the... The fibers on this is what amazed me. You can just run your hands right through these fibers, no problem. They're very light and airy. That's the word I'm looking for. Very light and airy. It doesn't feel too heavy or too much on my head. I have that problem with long hair. Um, I get really, really hot. So I think this is going to be a really, really good one as far as me being able to wear this in the summer heat and not get too overheated. So some styling options for this, there, there are many um, because of the length. You can leave this front down and pull up, you know, a little bit of the sides. Oh, I like that. You could do a headband. You could clip some of the sides back and leave the other part back. There's there's hardly any permatease on this. There's none at the top. Most of it that I did find was very, very minimal, just around of the cap. So, I mean, it, it's just a beautiful, beautiful style right out of the box. You don't have to do anything to it. But what I think, um, you know, to bring out more of the waves, some sea salt spray. Even if you want a little bit more volume up on the top, you know, use your sea salt spray up there to give you some texture and just scrunch that in but what I was going to say is I'm assuming with a uh, this type of length that when you wear it you're probably going to have to comb through the nape pretty good and probably apply either some leave-in conditioner or some um, of the uh, simply styling that's the word I'm looking for I am currently out of that but at the nape, I, I would guess it's probably going to need that. 
So it looks like the rain has stopped. So I'm going to try and get outside so you can see this color. And I want to thank you for joining me for this review today. And check out the links in the description. And also I would like to invite you to check out our two other reviewers. We've got Tanya with Tanya's Wig World. And we've got Kathy with Show and Tell My Wigs. So hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment, tell me how you wear Willow, how she holds up because I have no idea. And thanks again. Okay, so let's take a look at the inside of the cap here of Willow. Here is the lace front and you can see that that runs extended um, clear to the beginning of the ear tabs. And it's a very, very nice lace front. You can see the, whenever I uh, turn it back over, I will show you just how good it is as far as seeing the hairline. So here we have the ear tabs with the bendable stays. It does have an extended nape with Velcro, yes, Velcro closures. And this here is all open wefting. So I'm gonna turn this back and show you the parting line here, if we can see it. It's just really, Henry Margu just does amazing cap features. All right, so we'll get her back on and we'll do a little bit of styling. Okay, so here we're outside and like I said, it's been storming cats and dogs, so it's pretty breezy. Um, I don't know if we can pick up on that. I see it. The strawberry is blonde out here. Let's see what the wind does. Let's get a good wind and see if this stays out on my face. This is just a very natural looking style, I think. I'm going to spin again. Just very, very pretty. Love it. And you can probably see with the wind blowing that I'm getting, it's just Very, very fine. I did have a little bit of a problem with some flyaways around the, the front whenever I first put it on, but seems to be doing okay. Here comes the sun. I know my friend Tanya that does reviews, she wears all of her long wigs to the front and she says that that reduces friction. I may start trying that. All right, guys, I hope you got a good look at this color out here. It's a tricky one to capture. It's a fairly, I don't know, neutral color. Um, because it's just, I, I don't know, it's just gorgeous. I don't know.